Welcome back to the Washington Nationals franchise mode here at MLB 22, the show. And okay, we're going to start the video with our old pal, Chris Velasquez, getting traded from the Braves to the Dodgers. He's just been passed around NL contenders. Sean Murphy's now going to the Atlanta Braves. But yeah, we're currently in the month of May, doing all right for ourselves for 13 games over 500. We're going to be taking on the Texas Rangers later on in today's video. We'll check the draft, of course, because that's happening. And we'll look at maybe some Juan Soto trade offers. Not like I'm going to trade him today, but we'll field some offers and see what the potential value of Juan Soto currently is. You go to the draft, we did all right for ourselves. I mean, we got Pedro Lozano with our first pick, 86 potential. It was just a mid-draft. Are any of these guys going to be in the majors? Probably not, if we're being honest with ourselves. So there you have it. Going back to the sim currently in the month of June. Progressing pretty well here in the 2027 season. Just want to get back to the playoffs, honestly. But we've got to hit our checkpoints going on to the postseason. But yeah, 20 games over 500. This team's looking really nice. Going to be taking on the Orioles here. Going to win the first game. And Fred Reyes will be out for two weeks. So unfortunately, we're not going to see Reyes in our game against the Rangers here tonight. And real quick, just looking at the Soto trade value. I mean, you're looking at Adley Rushman, Jason Dominguez. Guys, who the actually that's not a bad trade for being honest with ourselves. Those two for Soto. I'm just saying. Ozzy Albies, Khalil Watson, Joey Gallo, not training the Marlins though. Henry Davis from the Pirates isn't horrible. Alex Bregman, Matthew Libitor. There's some good offers. I think the most intriguing one's definitely Dominguez and Urias because you get an ace in your rotation and then you get Dominguez who's still only, what, 24, 23 years old, 90 overall, a potential. I think if we were gonna make a trade, it would be Juan Soto to the Yankees, pairing him back with Josh Bell. The likeliness of that, honestly, though, is pretty low. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Um, but if I was to trade Soto, it would be to the Yankees. The thing is, the guy's batting 370. Like, I know we wanna trade him because of what's happening in real life and all that, but bro, you're not going to trade a guy's back 370 at the deadline, right? This guy's going to win MVP as the best player in the game. We'll see though as we take on the Rangers here tonight. We're 49 27. The Rangers are 32 and 43. And folks, real quick, make sure to follow us on the socials. Great Plays by T on both IG and on TikTok. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more MLB 22 the show here on the channel. About two thirds of you aren't subscribed. So go hit that subscribe button down below for some more show here on this channel. Jack Leiter making the start tonight for the Rangers. ERA of four, two and six record over 15 starts for him. The Rangers run support, honestly, behind him though, hasn't been all that great you're gonna see they're really bad starting nine in just a second so Mookie is gonna walk to start off this game Juan Soto though is gonna fly out the fastball in to center field to Julio Pablo Martinez if we take a look at the Nets lineup it'll go Bet Soto Guerrero Smith Cruz Martin Vaquero Pajes and Guevara Pajes of course DHing for the injured Fran Mil Reyes Vladimir Guerrero comes up and he's gonna strike on the fastball up and in by Jack Leiter so two down at four will Smith oh perfect perfect for Smith Deep left field, no doubter. He's been so good on this Nationals team. Will Smith hits yet another home run. See you later. His 24th of the season goes 443 feet here in Texas. And the Washington Nationals now go up 2-0 thanks to the solo bomb. O'Neal Cruz now comes up on the 2-2. Going to hit a curveball right down the middle of the plate. Deep left center. That ball's up. And it's back to back. Smith and Cruz go back to back for the Nats. Three and nothing is now our score. Our six eight shortstop takes one deep. 395 feet for O'Neill Cruz. His 14th home run of the season again makes it three nothing for the Nationals. A dominant start early here against the Texas Rangers. Now Austin Martin, perfect, perfect up the middle. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be caught. Martinez has got it. It's unfortunate right there for Martin as we go to the bottom of the first. Here comes the leading Cy Young candidate in John Means. Area of 2.34 so far in the season. 9-1 record. He's been so good for the Nationals, even though he's only an 82 overall. But there's the first out the inning. Martinez laying down the butt, but there goes O'Neill Cruz to first. One down for Key Brian Hayes. He signed in the offseason with this Rangers team. He'll walk, so Jordan Alvarez comes up on the 1-2, batting 231. Alvarez strikes out on a slider away. We've got two down down the inning for Hunter Bishop in a 2-2 pitch. Slider is going to be hit on the ground to Guerrero. Guerrero to Means a Good first inning for John Means as we go to the top of the second. Here comes Elfie Namino. Christian Vaquero going to plug a gap right center field. Vaquero's going to have extra bases. And the phenomenon is going to try for a triple. Can he get in there? Yes, he will around the tag. Christian Vaquero's on with the leadoff triple to kick off the top of the second, his third of the season. Now Andy Pies will elevate a fastball. Deep center field, Martinez going back. He'll make the catch, but it'll be way deep enough to score. Christian Vaquero from third base is now 4 nothing for the Nationals here in the top of the second, thanks to the sack fly by Andy Pies. Eric Guevara now comes up in the 3-2, and the Puerto Rican God will walk. So yet another base runner on for the Nationals. Mookie Betts is now the batter. He'll fly a slider deep in the air. Left field does that one have the carry out there? 
there, it does not. Guevara will have to retreat back to first base, but now Juan Soto gets a shot on the 2-2 pitch. Juan is gonna roll over a curveball. Oh my goodness. Okay, the no look uh, glove flip by Colt caught him. All right, the Rangers making plays in the field. They're down by four runs, though. There was going to be a leadoff single, though, off of John Means. So runner on first, that was Josh Young. Now Alonzo is going to hit one in left. Or actually, excuse me, Alfonso is going to hit one in left field, their catcher. That's going to be the first step inning to Christian Vaquero. Gabriel Arias now on the 1-1, one, one, going to hit one to right center field. That ball gets down, and oh, okay. Going to get right past Juan Soto as well. And I think the Texas Rangers are going to get on the board. It is 4-1. to one. Will it be a triple right there for Arias? It will. He'll be on third base with one out for the second baseman in Perez. It's a 2-1 pitch. He'll hit one hard right to third and straight to O'Neill Cruz. It'll be the second out of the inning. Now here comes the first baseman in Cole Cottom. 2-1 pitch. He'll line one to center. And the Rangers have cut this Washington Nationals lead in half. Okay, Eric Guevara going to go make a dive out there into center field. Stop that ball from rolling any further. It is still, though, a double for Cottom. Julio Pablo Martinez now enters the box on the 1-1 pitch. He'll get popped down to foul ground. O'Neill Cruz going back. He'll make the play. But the Rangers have made this a 4-2 game. Going in the top of the third, Vladdy Jr. up first for the Nationals. They're going to say he went. Don't love the call right there, but Vladdy will be thrown out at first on the drop third strike. Now bringing up Will Smith. He went yard in his last A.B. This time, though, Smith on the ground right to third base and straight to Key Brian Hayes. The former Pittsburgh Pirate has got him. Two gone down the inning for O'Neill Cruz. Another former Pittsburgh Pirate on the 3-2 will roll over to second base. There is going to be Perez. We move to the bottom of the third. It's still up for two. Key Brian Hayes leading things off for the Rangers. He'll get popped out, though, on a means inside fastball. Mookie Betts puts him away on the pop out. And now here comes Jordan Alvarez, who we have mentioned has been struggling on this Rangers team. He'll ground out to O'Neill Cruz, the only man on it. That side of the shift to a down for Hunter Bishop. And Bishop going to hit one pretty hard. Deep right center of field. Juan Soto going back. Back Soto to the wall. He is going to make the catch. All right. Let's move to the top of the fourth. Austin Martin up first for the Nationals. That one is going to be a walk. Lighter hangs a curveball, but it is away and it misses the plate. Now Christian Vaquero comes up on the 2-1. El Finamino. Deep right field looking up. That ball's up and it's out of here. Christian Vaquero finally showcasing all the potential he's got. Vaquero goes yard here in Texas. He's got the hard part of the cycle out the way. He's got the triple. He's got the homer. It's his seventh homer of the season. El Fianamino, Christian Vaquero, makes it 6-2 to two as Andy Pahe steps in on the 1-2 pitch. They're going to say he went on it. That lighter 12-6 to six down. It'll be the first out here of the top of the fourth. Now up will it be Eric Guevara. 3-2 pitch for him. Perfect, perfect. In the left center field, Eric Guevara now joining the hit party. And this guy really developed. Developing into his own player. I know Guevara was an all-star last season. Some way, somehow, I know, right? He didn't play that well. But Guevara now batting 299 for the Nationals this season in the nine spot. He's been really good. And he's a really good fielder, too. I mean, the guy's, what, 22 years old? It's crazy that, again, we're so young with Vaquero. I know we got rid of Brady House. He's part of the future, but no longer. But, I mean, we're still young with Vaquero and um, Guevara and even Elijah Green, who's playing in AAA right now, as we're going to pick up an RBI off of Chad Dallas, the new Rangers pitcher. Okay, it's going to score Guevara. We're going to run ourselves straight into an out with Juan Soto. But now it is a five-run game. 7-2, to two, thanks to that RBI single by Soto. We'll kick up the bottom of the fourth with a flyout in to center field. There is the Puerto Rican god, Eric Guevara. Again, not having too much trouble with this Rangers offense. They did score a couple, but still... Like, soft contact into center field. Mookie Betts going to play back. He'll make the grab. Two down now for Gabriel Arias. And Arias is going to hit one opposite way into right. There's one Soto. Another one, two, three inning for John Means here in the bottom of the fourth. We go to the top of the fifth. Chad Dallas still pitching up for the Rangers. And Vladdy's going to throw that one hard to left field. Okay, it's going to get past the diving glove right there. I think, think of your Don Alvarez, right? He's playing the field for the Rangers. And Vladimir Guerrero's on with a double. Will Smith now on the full count. He'll walk. So uh, first and second with no outs for O'Neill Cruz. Can we tack on some more runs? Cruz going to kind of get jammed on that fastball and it will be caught in right field by um, Hunter Bishop. We'll keep both of our runners at first and second with one out for Austin Martin. 2-1 pitch for Martin. Going to hit a fastball deep in the air center field. Don't think that one's got the carry even though Martin has got sneaky good power now. Oh wait, that actually might get out. Oh wow. Oh wait, the damn warning track. And to the wall. 
They'll be up the corners with two outs for El Finamino. He's two for two. That's a horrible swing on my part. We will disregard that. Two at the bottom of the fifth. Perez going to leave things off for the Rangers. John Means going to give him to bounce one to our third baseman. Already trying to cover for the bunt is O'Neill Cruz. So it's an easy, soft ground out to third. Cole Cottom now comes up, and that is going to be a fly out or a pop out to O'Neill Cruz. And now Julio Pablo Martinez is going to ground out to Mookie Betts at second. So another one, two, three, four means as we go to the top of the sixth. All nationals here tonight in Texas. Andy Pai is going to barely get around that curveball he'll be put away at first base bringing up Eric Guevara who is batting now 299 not going to get to 300 as he'll ground out to first base we'll now have two down in the inning for the former AL MVP in the form of Mookie Betts Betts going to hit a fastball to center field I think that one's going to hang up though for Julio Pablo Martinez and it will so we go to the bottom of the sixth means still with only 63 pitches so far and pitch number 64 will be a pop out of key Brian Hayes to Mookie Betts one gotten down the inning for Jordan Alvarez Alvarez hits one though hard in it to center field it's going to split the shift in between Vaquero and Guevara and Jordan Alvarez will be on it with a one out double here in the bottom of the sixth up to the plate Hunter Bishop he'll get popped out though fastball up and in by John Means there is El Finamino Christian Vaquero we've now got two gone here in the bottom of the sixth inning for Josh Young it's a 2-2 offering Young on the ground right to Mookie and again it will be another shutout inning for John Means as we go to the top of the seventh one Soto leading things off 3-2 pitch ball away will miss so one will be on first for Vladdy Jr. and Guerrero is going to hit one hard in the right field Soto will probably stay at second now going for three one Soto going to try to be up the throw and I think he's toast yes he is I mean Guerrero stays put at first base for Will Smith on the 1-1 one, one Smith barely hitting that slider it's going to be an easy double play turn for Texas Go to the bottom of the seventh, still up by five runs. Means still going, and he'll strike out Alonzo right there. Alfonso, keep messing that up. One down now for Arias. Arias on the ground to John Means. Means over to first to Vladdy Jr. Got two down now in the inning for Perez, and it's a 2-2 pitch. Perez in the air to Austin Martin. Let's move to the top of the eighth inning. O'Neill Cruz comes up, and AJ Puke now pitching for Texas. He's going to blow that sinker right by Cruz. One down for Austin Martin. Martin going to hit one up the middle. It's off the glove of AJ and AJ will still collect himself and make that throw over to first to put away Martin Vaquero now comes up on the 1-1 pitch and he'll get popped out on the fast hole but honestly his home run in his triple tonight was already enough for his efforts we'll go to the bottom of the eighth it means still pitching in this ball game that's pitch number 94 and he's still being effective with his pitching that's a ground out to Austin Martin making it one down down the inning for Julio Pablo Martinez Martinez up the middle right to Mookie Betts Betts to Vlad two down Rangers are down their final four outs Brian Hayes comes up with a one-two pitch swing and a miss sweeping curve by John Means my goodness the Cy Young favorite is going crazy here tonight we go straight to the bottom of the ninth seeing if Means can go the full nine trying to get him the complete game as Jordan Alvarez grounds out right up the middle in the shift one down to the play now for Texas will be Hunter Bishop it's a 3-1 pitch Bishop oh it's gonna get past O'Neill Cruz so Bishop's on with a one out single to the play is Josh Young we're a pitch away right now the one one Young into left field Vaquero trying to get there oh he can't I think Texas is gonna score another run right here if we don't get in quick enough no they're gonna hold him at second and third okay yeah we gotta plug means now trying to save the ERA in comes TJ Antone who's been a tremendous ERA of 1.98 so far in the season Antone will see Alfonso first in the 1-1 one, one. he'll hit one in the left field if Aquero is there I think that is gonna score a run gonna try to get that throw in but yeah the Rangers have now made it a 7-3 game but they are down to their final out in the form of Gabriel Arias and Arias hits one in the right right to the chosen one Juan Soto puts him away and that's gonna do it the Washington Nationals will win on the road here in Texas they're gonna win it by a score of 7-3 another phenomenal pitching performance out of our I mean I wouldn't say ace because technically it is Jack Flaherty but Flaherty is struggling in all honesty and our guy John Means is balling out this season same can be said about Josiah Gray but the Nationals will win this one by a score of seven to three eight hits for the Nats six for Texas and John Means I know wins and losses for pitchers don't mean anything nowadays but still you got to be impressed with the 10-1 record for John Means in the season as he picks up yet another one here against the Texas Rangers in interleague play so folks thank y'all for watching episode number one 18 of the Washington Nationals franchise mode here on MLB 22 the show if you have not yet though make sure that subscribe button down below for more make sure to leave a like if you are enjoying the series you can fuck seeing up for watching and Mamba forever